Hello everyone! I've had several requests from viewers to play easier puzzles, so here it is. This is an easy level puzzle from the New York Times, and I hope you enjoy. Let's start by scanning the top rank, that's the top three rows, and we're looking for numbers that are repeated two times, starting with the number one. There are no ones in the top rank, so let's move on to the number two. There are two twos in the top rank, one in the top row and one in the third row, so the second row needs a two, and there's only one place it can go, so that's here. Okay, let's move on to the number three. There are two threes, so the third three has to go into one of these two cells. Looking down the columns, I can't eliminate either of those cells, so I'm going to pencil in threes to remind myself that the three goes into one of those two cells. Later, if I place a number into one of those two cells, then I'll know that the other cell is a three. Moving on to the number four, we have all three fours, so let's move on to the number five. And we have fives in the first row and in the second row, so there must be a five in the third row, and the only place it can go is here. What about six? We have two sixes, so the third six has to go here. If you're not sure how to place numbers using the scanning method, then you can take a look at my tutorial. I have a tutorial, it's lesson one on my channel, and I'll leave a link to it in the description box below this video. So next, let's scan for the number seven. There are two sevens in the top two rows, so the third seven has to go into one of these cells, where I already penciled in threes, but looking down the column, I can see there's a seven in one of the columns. So I can't put a seven here, so it has to go here. And now because I penciled in threes before, now I know that this cell has to be a three. By the way, this is called Snyder notation, when you pencil in numbers into a block where it can only go into two and only two cells. That way, if you solve one of those cells, then the other cell has to be the penciled in number. If you're not familiar with Snyder notation, take a look at my tutorial on pencil marking. It's lesson four, and I'll leave a link for that also in the description box below this video. Okay, back to the grid. We just placed the number seven, so moving on to the number eight. There are no eights. What about nine? There's only one nine, so it's hard to place that just yet. Now, looking at this third row, I see there are only two cells remaining, and they're both in the same block. So I can use counting to figure out which two numbers are missing and fill them in as candidates using Snyder notation. The missing numbers are one, oh, but wait a minute, there's also a one in this column, so this has to be the one. And then the other missing number is eight. And now the row is done and so is block one. Now I have three cells empty in block two and also in block three, but since it's three cells and Snyder notation is used to fill in only if two cells in a block are missing numbers, so I'm going to leave that alone for now. Okay, let's move on to the middle rank. That's the middle group of horizontal rows. And starting with the number one, there are two ones, so the third one has to go into one of these two cells. So let's pencil that in. There are no ones in those columns, so the one can be in either of those two cells. Okay, there are no twos in the middle rank. Three, there's one three. Four, there's one four. Five, there are no fives. Six, there are two sixes, so that's great. We can place the third six here. Seven, there's only one seven. 
eight. There are two eights, so I can pencil in eights in one of these two cells. But because there's an eight in this column, then the eight can go here. Okay, so we're done scanning all the numbers one through nine in the middle rank. So let's scan the bottom rank, starting with the number one. There's only one one. There's just one two. What about three? Okay, the three can go into either of these two cells and they're both in the same block, so I can pencil in threes. Four, there's only one four. Five, there are two fives, so the third five has to go here. Six, there's only one six. Seven, all three sevens are there. Eight, there are no eights. Nine, there's only one nine. So that's all I can do with the bottom rank. Now I'm gonna look at the stacks. Those are the groups of three vertical columns. We have the left stack here, but right away I see that the third column has just two cells remaining and both are in the same block, block four. So I can fill those in with Snyder notation. Counting to see what's missing. One, two, three, four. The four is missing, but there's a four here. So I can place the missing four here. And now there's just one cell missing in this column and it's the five. And column three is done. Okay, and now because I just placed the four here, I can pencil in fours here and here. Remember, I couldn't do that before because there was only one four in the middle rank, but now that I placed a four there, I can pencil in these fours. What about the five, since I just placed a five here? No, nope, that didn't help me. Okay, let's go back to scanning the left stack. One, there are three ones. Two, there are two twos, so the third two has to go here. Three, there are three threes, so the third three must be in one of these two cells. But since there's a three here, then I can place the missing three here. And now this block has just one number missing and using counting, I can figure out the missing number is seven. Okay, we're up to the number four. There are two fours in the left stack. So the missing four has to be in one of these two cells. But since there's a four in this row, the four has to go here. Five, we have all three fives. Six, we have two sixes. And the third six can go in either of these cells but there's a six in this row, so it has to go here. And now there's just one cell missing in column two. What's missing? The eight. And in column one, there's just one cell missing and it's the nine. And so now the entire left stack is done. Now let's go back and see if any of the numbers that we just filled in can help us fill in other numbers. And just like we did with the four and the five, right? So what about the seven? Yes, now we have two sevens in the middle rank and the third seven can go into either of these two cells. But since there's already a seven in this column, the seven has to go here. Anything else? One, we still can't figure out which of these cells is a one. It could be either cell. Two, there's only one two. But wait a second, this block needs a two and the only place a two can go in this block is here. Do you see why? The two can't go in this row since there's already a two in the row. And since the block has to have a two, it has to go here. This, by the way, is called a hidden single. Okay, and now that I place that two, the middle rank now has two twos, 
So the third two can go into either of these two cells. So let's pencil that in. And now this block has just two cells remaining. We already have the one penciled in. So let's see what's the other number that's missing. It's the five, but there's a five down in this column. So this has to be the five. And then this is the one. And now there's one cell missing in this row and using counting, one, two, three, it's the three. Now, once I've placed that three, it helps me to solve the threes that I penciled into block nine. Remember, I penciled these threes in. Well, now that there's a three in this column, this can't be a three anymore, so this has to be the three. Let's have another look at the bottom rank. The number one is already in this row and in this column. So there are only two cells a one can go in block nine, and that is here and here. You might want to review my lesson on intersecting lines if you want to review that in more detail. Now again, using intersecting lines, there's a two here in the bottom row and a two here in this column. So I can pencil in twos into just two cells in block nine here and here. Let's look at the number three in the bottom rank. There are already three threes. Okay, what about four? There are two fours, so the third four has to go here. And so now I can place a two here. And that now gives me two twos in the bottom rank, so the third two has to go here. Now there's one number left in this row. What's missing? It's the eight. And now there are two eights in the bottom row, so I can pencil in eights here and here. There are also two nines in the bottom rank, and the third nine has to go here. So that knocks out the eight I just placed there, and that means this has to be the eight. And if that's the eight, then this has to be the one. Now there are just two empty cells in the bottom row. They're in the same block, so we can pencil them in. What's missing? The one. What else is missing? The six, but there's a six in this column, so this has to be the six. And then this is the one. And now the bottom rank is done. I see that I placed a four here, so this can't be a four anymore. And so the four must go here. And what about these twos? I already placed a two in block nine, so this can't be a two anymore. So this must be the two. And then this is what's missing, the five. And now the bottom rank is done. This column just has one number left and it's the, what's missing, the nine. Now block two is missing two numbers. What's missing? I can pencil those in. It's the one and the eight in this cell. And this cell is also missing the one and the eight. And that is called a matching pair. Not very useful in this case, but in some cases it can be very useful. Now let's see what else is missing. This column is also missing a one. And this column, oh, it only has one number left. It's the eight. And now that resolves this matching pair. This has to be the eight. And then this is the one. That makes this the one. And this the nine. And the puzzle is done. 
That was fun. It was an easy level puzzle. Nice and relaxing. Not too hard. Please let me know in the comments if you would like more easy level puzzles, or should I keep showing harder level? If you can let me know, I'd appreciate it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and also like. I would really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.